I just had to imagine, like, what if I'm stuck like this? You've only got like two hours left of the drug. Two hours? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm too high. Mushrooms. <laughs> All right, welcome back. If you're back here again, Jeez, you're brave. If you are new here, here's how things work. Each week, one of us will be sober, one of us will be intoxicated, both trying to accomplish the same task in two very different mind frames, or to see how these different mind frames affect the end result. This week, I'm going to be painting a Bob Ross on shrooms today. And I'm gonna be in charge of doing a Bob Ross painting sober today. See how we go, hey? Hi, I'm Ben. Here we have our pre-stretched double prime canvas with a liquid white coating on it and all these colours that we'll be using today. That's a titanium white, phthalo blue, a perugian blue, midnight black, dark sienna, van dyke brown and an alizarian crimson. And with that, we'll be able to paint this beautiful winter scene. My name's Sam. I've taken shrooms once before and I genuinely thought I was schizophrenic. So I'm keen to see how this is gonna go. Without further ado, let's get high. I would describe the taste of mushrooms as... <laughs> they taste horrible. To our knowledge, it was going to take about 30 to 40 minutes for the shrooms to hit. So we're gonna go wait half an hour and then we're gonna be back and we're gonna start painting. That was not the case. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. We decided to put on some music and... Um... I really felt the need to to just start dancing. Have you got paint on you already? I don't know. <laughs> Immediately, the whole concept of the video has gone out the door. Woo! Jesus Christ, this is a crazy idea for a show. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> that is what I thought. At least you have me to understand where you're coming from. <laughs> oh, this is a wild idea for a show. Oh my God. All right. So the way we're gonna work this is breaking Bob's 25 minute video down into three segments. We're gonna try and watch it and then follow what we've just seen to the best of our abilities. Let's get started. So let's start with, with black and blue, or blue and black. I was a fucking rocket ship. Whoa! <laughs> the concept of painting something was the last thing on my priority list. I don't want this to be a flat old dead sky. So we've watched our first chunk of the video and it seems relatively straightforward. So I'm gonna get started on painting up the sky like he said. I had no idea what Bob had just said. There are so many other things right now that I want to engage with. I want to listen to music. I want to freaking go outside and just run. But instead I have to stay here and paint this thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's coming together really well. It just says he's sort of done it. You just want to leave gaps around here and it's meant to be a winter sky. All right, let's see how we go. Am I even sure that's the right color? I don't even know. I don't even know what these colors are. Is that green? Can someone help me out here? I'll give you a hint. Do you want a hint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. F yes. <laughs> Do you want water to stop? Yes. yes, of course I want a fucking hint. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, definitely the wrong brush there. <laughs> Oh no! I'm so nervous, I don't even want to put paint on the canvas. Now I'm going to grab another brush over here. I'm going to put a little bit of crimson red on it. Is this the right brush? I need it! <laughs> but when I embraced the fact that I was just going to fuck this up... Oh, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get the, the streaks and the stuff that he had going... I'm trying... What I'm... I am flinging brushes. I'm flinging my palette all over the place. I feel like you keep pushing that around the back and it makes me nervous. Yeah, no, all right, I'll try and keep it around the front. I'm gonna put just a little pink in there just to give it a little warmth. Just a very, very gentle amount. We don't wanna get too excited here. Very gently covering your canvas. That, I'm gonna start doing the cherries. Are we all happy with that? All right, let's grab an old brush. Load it full of color. He's definitely not feeling what I am. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. So we can put these trees anywhere, he says. I'm gonna start right at the back here like him. And I think you just start by drawing down like that. Let's just push upward today and make us a little tree. To me, that's what's so fantastic about painting is that each and every person will paint differently. <laughs> oh. 
I'm just trying to come to terms with life right now. That's what I'm trying to fucking do. It's looking really good. It's coming together really well. If Bob's anything to go by, don't get overwhelmed. Oh my God. You all right? <sighs> Perfect. Oh my God, that turned out so well. And then the final step before we watch onto our next section is just to blend it all together and create a little snow across there. <sighs> I'm too high. I'm <laughs> too high. You can do it. You can do it, mate. You can keep going. I gotta keep going. I gotta you keep going. It. Yeah, let's fucking get back to this. <laughs> scrape out a basic shape. Just sort of scrape it out. It doesn't have to be exact, and you're not committed. Not committed? Jeez, that makes me feel better about everything, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> this is so easy. You just have to follow what he's doing. And it all just comes together really easily. This tool is I don't even want to use this tool. Show it to me and let me paint it, hey? I've got this idea in my head that Bob Ross is working against me. Bob Ross is telling me to do some things right now and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want to. Bob Ross is an incredible painter. All the techniques that he keeps trying to show me, I'm like, fuck him up, let me just. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just paint it. So to try and keep up with him in any way is going to be a challenging task. And just barely touch. Let it graze. It looks like old, low wood. Add shrooms to the mix. F*** you, are you kidding me? You look so good. It's all gonna be all right. I just gotta remember that. It's happy little mistakes. <laughs> I've built a few barns. It's not this easy. You're right, it's not this easy. You are, <laughs> you're fine. You're right there, mate. <laughs> I can't even imagine that you're gonna f do much better. There's your bar, all done. Look at that. Ben made a keen observation at one point. I think something that might be throwing you off is that your painting looks like <laughs> you're in a mushroom trip. So like, you can't even follow. He's in reality and you're in mushroom land over here. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> In my mind, I get this idea that all Bob's lines are straight, whereas all my lines are curly and all over the place. So if I wanted to try and sober up, I would need to paint straight lines. Let me try and straighten everything out a bit, eh? <laughs> sober is straight. Sober is straight. <laughs> Definitely not what's going on there. <laughs> then it all got too much. I need a hug. I genuinely need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so well, mate. You're doing so well. You're killing us over here. You're running a show. Oh, You're painting oh. a Bob Ross. It's looking oh. good. I was well and truly gone. I was trying to paint this painting. I was keeping demons at bay. And after a while, it all just got too much. I, I needed someone to tell me that it's gonna be okay. Thank you, Ben. What do you reckon? I reckon it's a snowy little world. Um, are you kidding me? So you've only got like two hours left. Two hours? Yeah. Collective. Oh, I can't even think about time now. I had to stop. I know if I'm gonna be able to complete this. You wanna sit here in a chair and listen to music for a second? Let it pass a little bit, come back to it at the end. It was as if everything was kidding me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Kidding me? Seriously? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, let, I do need to just sit down for a while. Which is when I started to have the most stereotypical realizations of someone on shrooms. It's like, why wouldn't you just put good food in your body? I just had to imagine, like, what if I'm stuck like this? I mean, I'm not. I, that's the biggest, th that's the classic thing, is you're not stuck like this. Oh, it's such a nice day. It is such a nice day. At this point, we were we were over the hump. We'd sat outside for about an hour and let me sobered up. I was fried. I was on another. I was on an absolute another planet. But I'm back. I'm I'm down the other side of it. I was ready to bring this puppy home and try and make this painting some semblance of what Bob had been trying to teach me to paint. It's looking really good. It's come together really well. We're only one step away from finishing this bad boy. He's adding these like indents in here, so you can see the wind like has 
direction. To make the show interesting, we always try and push things to the limit. It kind of looks like if you, <laughs> if you can squint your eyes, it kind of looks like <laughs> you're going past something really quickly in a, car, <laughs> in a car. And I think in this particular instance, we maybe pushed it a bit too far. I think it's as good as it's gonna get for someone for someone on mushrooms. You know what? My painting might not have been the best. It might not have been as good as Ben's. It might not have been as good as Bob's. But a good painting is in the eye of the beholder. And I am the beholder of this painting, so god damn it, I say my painting's good. From all of us here until next time, I'd like to wish you happy painting. God bless my friend. It was a dust painting, I can't even justify it. It was pretty shit. And that was painting a Bob Ross on mushrooms. Let's never do that again. Once again, we completely forgot to do the rating system, so we're going to jump on the end here. And I'm going to say, based on the mind frame that we're in, Shrooms did not win. Did not win at all. No, mine. It still looked pretty good, though. You've got to yeah. give me something. There was some artistic There was value. a lot of artistic flair there. We'll see you guys next time.